so we're being a bit quiet because our parents or oh, mum has gone to bed early or has gone to bed at normal time we're not going to bed yet so technically <laughs> it's a little late so today we are going to be doing the epic disney tag yeah. <laughs> um epic. take it away as you probably have guessed me and katie both like disney so let's go with the first question a scene in any Disney movie you wish you could experience. I think mine would be, um, it's the part where Flynn and Rapunzel are going on to the river and they have all the lanterns flying around them. That would be really cool to experience, I think. I'm trying to think of a really epic one, but I cannot think. Like, when, you know when you watch the Disney films, you're like, oh, I don't really want that to happen to me. I have no idea, but the one that comes to mind at the minute is when Lilo and Stitch are playing. Lilo brings Stitch in to her sister's bedroom, her older sister's bedroom, and brings the record, the um, recorder oh. in, and <laughs> she gets Stitch to put his finger on the um, record player. That's it, the record player, and when he opens his mouth it's, it's the music coming out i mean if i could do elvis that to claire i just be like right just sit there with your mouth open while i listen to elvis Presley. yeah in our relationship think, kate is i think that'd be pretty cool an unforgettable experience you've had at disney park we've only ever been to disneyland paris twice well, like a happy experience, is it happy? Oh well, no, it just says an unforgettable experience. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is though, mine would be probably when it was the first day and we got to the park and as I got off the tram at the station, I was like, oh, yay, I'm so excited. And then um, I look down and I trip. And then as I trip, I see that there's a two, two euros on the floor and I'm just like, I'm rich! <laughs> that's one, that's one memorable experience I can think of. The second one would probably be, um, because we always remember this, is the, the parade, the Disney yeah. princess, or is it Disney princess parade? Or is it just no, Disney it's parade? Disney parade. The Disney parade, because that song has been stuck with us. Hey since. there, hi there, it's, it's a, a Disney kind of day. <laughs> so this is going to be an embarrassing, embarrassing moment. <laughs> That I had. Um, this is the worst thing, and Christopher, my brother, always reminds me of this. And I can't believe I'm going to put it on the internet. I think I know what you mean. But this is going to be it. Okay, so I think it was the second year we went. We had a swimming pool, and <laughs> at this swimming pool that we were staying at, they had like two this, slides. Two slides. That one was like a dragon one, wasn't it? A yeah. flume, and then the other one was a slide. It was on top of a pirate ship and it was a yellow slide it just went straight into the pool yeah so christopher goes down first no i go down first oh yeah katie goes down if you're on about the one i think you're on yeah about. katie goes yeah, down, go down first. first and then then it's Chris. then christopher goes now christopher dared us all to go head first and i was at the age where i never really <laughs> i never really did anything i wanted to big myself up so i was like you know what i'm gonna go down the slide head first. Now, Christopher couldn't swim at this point. He wasn't very good at swimming, was he? No, um, not great, but enough. Yeah, Yeah, enough so that he could like maneuver himself around the pool. So I come down the slide and he's like just landed in the water and then he's coming up for breath. <laughs> and just as he's like near the top, I come down and his face hits into my stomach and <laughs> so he can breathe. <laughs> belly planted. I was on top. Yeah, belly, like, belly flopped. <laughs> you also gotta remember that I went down first, and because I went down first, I was already at the bottom of the pool. Yeah. So when Chris comes down and he's like going up for breath, I'm still under trying to go up for breath. Yeah. But as Chris gets knocked down by Claire, I get this foot in the back of my head or neck going oh, yeah. woof, and push me down to the floor. So yeah. I was like, huh? another unforgettable moment was I was a very gullible kid and we went on the pirate ship ride i think christopher mentioned the first time that like it would be funny if there was something in the water me katie and natasha went down and kate was like oh did you see that i was like what <laughs> and natasha was like what I said something's in the water it's a shark <laughs> we knew that they were like fake animatronics 
but Kate was like making it out that in this corner there was a shark. So every time I went on the pirate ride, I would look for this shark. Me and Natasha would both look for this shark, and then Katie didn't tell us until like a couple of years later that there was no shark. <laughs> but it, it wasn't. Um, oh, so yeah. Bless her. What non Disney song reminds you or brings back memories of Disney and or the parks? <laughs> right. The first year we went, oh, song, okay. Rihanna had released <laughs> Umbrella. It was at number one. When we went to France, they used to play it around the park, like in like different shops and pubs and stuff. And that year, while we were at Disneyland, it poured it down. Like, like it rained every single day. It was raining heavens. It was crazy. Like, the clouds were coming down. Yeah. It was soaking. I don't remember yeah. having one dry day. I think that was one. Actually, no, yeah, there was one. When we then. first arrived, it didn't rain. And when we left, because Dad took a photo of me. Oh, yeah. And their family outside of the thing, and it was dry. Yeah. First two, the first day and the last day, it was like completely, well, not dry. The ground was wet. You could yeah. tell it had been raining. But yeah. So Rihanna brings back memories of Disney. When was the first time oh. you went to a Disney park? Well, me and Katie went in 2004. And and then we went in 2005 as well. If you could choose any character to be your best friend, who would you choose? Mine would be Flounder, <laughs> then Stitch. Mine would be Olaf, Okay. then Pascal. Oh no, Raja. Raja. I'd love a tiger as a pet. But yeah, Olaf, and if not Olaf, it would be Raja. Who is your favorite Disney princess? I hate this question with a passion. I don't. <laughs> Cause I already know who mine is. <laughs> Go on. Mine's Ariel. Ariel. Always has been. I hate this question because I have never been able to come to a complete firm answer. I relate to so many of the different princesses in a different way. So instead I'm just gonna do my like top princesses. So Snow White, and then another would be Jasmine, Rapunzel, Rapunzel as well. Don't. They're my okay. like, three. She doesn't know me. And Belle, I'll forget it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Name a scene or moment in any Disney movie that never fails to make you cry. Okay, I know one. It's when um, Simba loses his dad, and Mufasa's just lying there, and Simba just comes out. He's like. Dad. And you already, the, the mm. viewers already know what's happened. Mm -hmm. Like, you already know what he, like, he doesn't know yet. And then he's like, Dad, yeah. Dad, where are you, Dad? And then when he when he finally sees that his dad's there, he's like, Dad, Dad. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, no, I can't deal. And I think for many, like, kids, it's like their first experience with, like, someone dying as well. Lion King and also Toy Story 3, when they go into the... I was gonna say, yeah, or the one where Jesse's song. Oh, Jesse's song. <laughs> what is your favourite Disney movie? We can say this together. Three, two, one. The, the Lion King. King. <laughs> okay. Overrated Disney. Overrated Disney. Oh, like an overrated Disney. Like Scarlet Thinks Frozen is overrated. Okay. Our overrated film would, would be, be The, the Rescuers. Rescuers. Although I feel like I need to rewatch it to see like if it is as bad as I remember it. Yeah. But I just, uh, I don't know, It's it's got a heart to it. Like, I can see the heart in the film. It's, yeah, it's nice in some bits, and then it's like, eh, yeah. in some bits. Underrated movie, I would say, is Brave. It's not what you expect, and a lot of people either haven't seen it or don't think it's very good, but it's, it's one of my favourite Disney movies. I know a lot of our answers are cartoon related. Because Disney is cartoon. Well, mainly. Mainly. <laughs> so it makes sense. That's when you think of Disney, you think of cartoons. Yeah. So when you go to Disneyland, you see cartoon characters alive. So, yeah. But my film that's very underrated, I think, is Bridge to Terabithia. I think the film is so underrated that not many people have even heard of it. And I'm pretty sure when I just said this now, you've probably not heard of it, have you? No. Honestly. But um, it's one of my ones I want to see because it's got Doris. Joey, Joey, and Joey, 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 and it's got Josh Hutchinson in it as well. Yeah, it only came out in 2007, so it's not like a major classic, but mm. it's a lovely film. It's got a lovely meaning to it, and again, it's surrounding surrounded by the theme of death, and I think it's one of those films that makes you really think about life and how it's worth living. So yeah. 
favorite Disney song? My favorite Disney song. Okay, the first one would have to be the reprise in The Little Mermaid. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know something's starting right now. Watch and you'll see, one day I'll be part of your world. <laughs> okay, second one, but... This is only because, and it's only the first time I ever heard it, is when I really, really liked it. Now it's kind of just like, yeah, okay, it's just another song. But Frozen's Let It Go. Like, the first time <laughs> I heard that in cinema with Paige and Misha, it was, like, insane. Like, the cinema screen that we were in was, like, really big. So the speakers were turned up extra loud. And so, because they were turned up extra loud, the bass, and when she slams the door right at the end of the song, I sat there and I had a tear stream down my face. Like, it was the first, I was like, this is such a beautiful film. Again, I have two. My favourite Disney song from, like, childhood <laughs> was Lion King, I Just Can't Wait to Be King. The reason I love this song is because Simba's desire, his dream is to become a king. As a child, at that point in my life, I was exploring who I wanted to become. The path strategy was starting to go towards acting and that sort of career. So, and the way Simba does that song is it's like, he does it in an acting way. So like he dresses up and he's like in the spotlight and stuff like, and I just watched that and I was like, that's what I want. Like, I want to be an actress. I want, I want people to, I want, I, I, I want to do this as a living, like I want to be an actress. My other favourite one is from Aladdin, and it's a whole new world. Most memorable Disney villain. Oh. From like looking at childhood, it would be the evil queen from Snow White. That's who I was thinking of. And Scar. That's the two I was thinking of. Yeah. I was gonna the say third Ursula. One would be Ursula, yeah. <laughs> favourite classic Disney favorite modern Disney. Our favorite Disney classic movie is The, the Lion, Lion King. King. Our favorite modern Disney film would have to be Frozen, Frozen because it united us as a sisters. <sighs> my favorite modern Disney film would have to be Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my, goodness. <laughs> my favorite modern Disney movie at the moment is Maleficent. I love, 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 love. Angelina Jolie. She's such an amazing actress. She's so good at Tomb Raider and she's so good in so many other films and, and it's just brilliant. Favourite live action? My favourite Disney <laughs> live action movie of all time Freaking is The Bad. Parent Trap. Oh yeah. That's My favourite Disney princess movie of all time that's live action is The Princess Diaries. Thank you for being here today. Oh, don't slouch like this. I look like a moose. <laughs> this but a really good moose. Make all the girl mooses go. <gasps> the Sorcerer's Apprentice. That is underrated, I think. That yeah. is very underrated. A <gasps> Disney film or song that you hated as a kid but love now. My favorite Disney film as a kid but I love now are probably Sleeping Beauty. But song-wise, it would have to be Scar's song. Really? Mm. I hate it. Oh. I was like, oh, forward. <laughs> <laughs> Besides what he's actually saying, Be it's like prepared. good. It's like a life message. It is, you need it to is. Be prepared. But I was like, please shut up. <laughs> okay. Song. Mulan Reflection. Right, I have a very... The reason I hated Reflection is because I related to reflection. She hated her reflection. <laughs> no, I related to it. So you know like how it's like, yeah. I never thought that I was the girl that I wanted to be inside. If I could be a Disney, if I could be a Disney princess, it would be either Rapunzel or Belle. Darn it. I would be, I would be Belle. But the reason I say Rapunzel is because, again, like she's the type who's seeking freedom and, but she gets to do so many things. And oh my goodness, she can clean in like two minutes. <laughs> whole, uh, do you remember <laughs> the <that> song? <laughs> yeah, it's just like. 7 a.m. the usual morning line up. And then she does see all this cleaning. And then she's got like, oh, it's a little bit of 15. And it's just like, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I'll get 
can you do it? <laughs> I say Belle because one, she loves books. Two, she's very mature. She seems like one of the maturest princesses. Yeah. And she's well, she's technically she's not born birthright right as a princess. She's married into it. But and then like she has so many friends. She's so kind. And I would think that I would like to think that I'd be like her. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. We'd love it if you could share it spread it and we invite you to do this tag <laughs> yes anyone who wants to do it go ahead if you don't want to do a video response with the tag then you can comment below and just tell us your answers to our questions i'm gonna tag scarlet vibes because i know that she would love to do this video she can do it with anyone she wants or she can do it by herself but scarlet i'm telling you now you need to do this tag you've been tagged we're tagging you we're gonna put you on the link Bola. Also coming up is a um, Crazy Kins Christmas um, Q&A and we're going to be putting that out online probably before this video is up so like we're going to put it on Twitter to spread and tell everyone to ask us questions. Mm -hmm. Just want to mention one more thing. Our subscribers have hit 96. <laughs> Woo! And if we get four more, one, two, three, four, four more, we are going to do a hundred subscribers video and we will let you know when that is going to happen because we'll be asking you guys what you want us to do we will see you guys next time bye, bye. so so i hate the word so now a needle pulling red <laughs> la a note to follow so so we are doing the Sorry, I just clicked my toe. We're doing that. Ah. <laughs> tag. Great tag. Um, that year while we're at Butlin, uh <laughs> <laughs>